Hi guys, welcome to another video. Um, I'm great, how are you? <laughs> um, today I thought we would tackle a big question. Uh, a lot of people wanted to know what are my opinions on the facial hair rankings of serial killers. A lot of people say like serial killers, um, people are like over glorifying them or um, people have like weird attractions to them. I don't think that's the case because honestly I wouldn't sleep with any of them okay none of them are that hot I'm just gonna say that at the top of the poll um, I took a look at 10 serial killers and I ranked them in terms of facial hair um, no thanks okay <laughs> no thanks um, also just like to preempt any tweets about this yes there's no women in this poll okay because it's about moustaches like, I'm not any less of a feminist just because Eileen Wernos doesn't have a beard, okay? Number 10. Ed Kemper. Okay, uh, pretty standard guy, pretty standard moustache. I, uh, can't say I rate it, to be honest. It kind of makes his face look puffy. I think, um, he could have gone clean shaven, it would have looked much better. That's all I have to say. Number 9. Charles Manson. Yes, Charles Manson had a strong look, but it was a bit sloppy, okay? He had a nice set of like uh, facial hair, beard kind of thing going on. I just, I do not like that lack of grooming, okay? I know he's been in the desert, I know he's been high, but that doesn't mean you can't get some beard oil. Number eight, John Wayne Gacy. Um, I wasn't even gonna put him on here, but I just wanna say like, fat men should not have tiny little moustaches. It just makes them look fatter, okay? The only thing I can think of that would improve this moustache, apart from getting rid of it, is covering it with clown makeup. And thank God he did. Number seven, Harold Shipman. Now, Harold Shipman is like, he's just a bit of a granddad, let's face it, okay? I mean, he was never gonna be top of the pole with that kind of facial hair. Um, I think it looks like it kind of suits him, but I wouldn't say like the whole heavy 80s kind of glasses thing. It's, it's coming back in in a way. I guess it could kind of be described as like hipster trendy now but I just get like this vibe from him like he's kind of creepy. Number six, Hitler. I know guys, controversial opinion, Hitler was a serial killer, okay? Don't at me, it's just what I think. Um, should he be in here? Uh, yeah, I think so because I think we've got a lot to talk about in terms of that facial hair. That facial hair was wrong, okay? From beginning to end wrong. I don't know what it is in the 20th century with men having tiny, tiny moustaches, but it has got to stop. Number five, H.H. H. Holmes. I love this guy's moustache, okay? I think he's got style, he's got class, it suits the period, it's very vintage fun, it's a little bit hipster, um, I like the volume. I think he did great, I think he did a great job, and I applaud him for that, but not obviously for not the, um, not for the murder. Number four, Jack the Ripper. Okay guys, again another controversial choice, we don't know who he was technically, but I think we can all agree he would probably have a great big handlebar moustache, and I think they look great. They balance the face well, they hide you in dark corners and shadows, it's hard to identify you when you've just been cutting up sex workers, and I think overall it's a great look. Number three. BTK. BTK has what I would describe as classic dad moustache, okay? You look at that guy, you think there's a guy I can trust. There's a guy who's going to take me to school on time. Um, like, aside from the murder, I think he had a great sense of what his face suited. Number two, Ed Gein. Okay, guys, um, I know a lot of you are like, does this guy count? But from the shots I've seen of him, he's just got a lovely bit of stubble, okay? He's got a lovely bit of rustic stubble. We know he was a farmer, kind of outdoorsy guy. And um, that goes really well with the flannels. Number one, serial killer facial hair has to go to the Yorkshire Ripper. I think we can all agree that was a strong, bold 70s look. Okay? You're looking at him, you're thinking, does he drive a lorry or is he down the disco? I don't know, he could be both. Or it could be hitting women over the head with a claw hammer. The point is, it's stylish, okay? He knows what suits him, and I just think, you know, there's a bit of fun there, a bit of a dark rogue kind of twinkle. Um, and uh, overall, I think he's done a great job. 
Okay guys, that was my poll. Let me know what you think. Do you think BTK should have been higher or lower? I'm not sure. <laughs> um, don't forget to rate, like, comment, subscribe, smoosh that like button, click the bell for notifications, and I will see you next time for more physical judging of history's greatest monsters. Okay, bye!